Hello and welcome back to Philology Tikka. I am Srishti Jain, Chief Product Officer of Tikka and I'll be sharing a series of videos on how to use Tikka to pick great stock. In today's video, we'll learn about one important valuation concept known as Discounted Cash Flow or DCF. Ever wondered how much a company might be worth in the future? Well, predicting future is impossible. But there's a way to estimate company's fair value or intrinsic value based on its future cash flow potential. It is done by Discounted Cash Flow Method, a tool which is used by analysts to value Indian company. Let's make it simple. Imagine you want to buy a mobile phone worth 20,000 rupees. But how to know its actual worth? You can do it by applying DCA. First, decide how long you will use it for. Two years or three years or just one year. The phone's value won't remain same forever. Let's say you plan to keep the mobile phone just for one year. It cost 20,000 rupees today, but after a year, you may be able to sell it only for 10,000 rupees because of wear and tear or the damage which you might have done. So, the phone's future value is going to be 10,000 rupees which you will get after a year. But wouldn't getting 10,000 rupees after a year would be worth less now? Yes. That's because the money you have today can be saved and earn interest also in the banks. So, to compare the future value of the phone with present value today, we need to discount it. Discounting determines the present value of the future payment. It considers the time value of money and risk of waiting a year to get the money back. The riskier the investment like a used phone, the higher the discount rate. This shrinks the value of future cash flow more significantly. Putting it all together, the formula for discounted cash flow is simply the future cash flow value divided by 1 plus discount rate. Now, let's estimate the phone's present value. Future cash flow, in this case, it's the 10,000 you expect to get after a year. Discount rate, let's say it's 10% considering the phone might depreciate quickly. So, the phone's present value might be around 9,090 rupees. This suggests that its actual worth might be closer to 9,000 rupees than the 20,000 rupees price tag. Now, coming back to reality, let's understand how it works in the stock market. Open ticker.philology.in. Here, you will find all the listed stocks data. Let's open TCS, that is Tata Consultancy Services. It is currently trading at around 4,000 rupees. But is it actually rupees 4,000 worth or not? We can find it using various methods. But let's apply DCF today. In DCF, we will predict the company's future cash flows and then discount it to today's value to know if it's undervalued or overvalued. We use cash flow because it tells us how much company is earning actually in cash. Profit figures might mislead. We don't know if it's been paid or it's in debts. But cash flow figure is what company has received in cash. In cash flow, we have a ratio called free cash flow. It is the cash which company has after doing all the expenses, acquisitions, capex, etc. It is lying free in the company books and even if it's lost or used up, there might be no change in the company's operation. So, one should always calculate DCF using free cash flow figures. In Ticker, we have inbuilt DCF calculator for Finology 1 members. You don't need to learn the formulas or do complex calculations. Ticker has done it for you. Scroll in the page and go below the docs section. Here, you will find free cash flow figures of the company. Now, to do the DCF, we have to just enter four things. We have to estimate the growth of the company's current free cash flow. Estimate the discount rate, estimate the terminal growth rate, and enter margin of safety. First, we find the future cash flows through estimated growth rate, and then discount those cash flows to find the fair value of the company. To do this, let's enter the current free cash flow value. In the hint, we can see the past three years average FCF figure. One can take the latest FCF figure or past average as per his research. I am entering the hint value only. Now, the FCF growth rate for first five years and then next five years. One can predict the near future better and can enter high values. But we can't accurately predict what will happen after five years. So, it's better to take it conservatively. Also, the terminal rate is the rate of growth of company after 10 years. That is how much percentage company will keep growing on its cash flows eternally. So that's more hard to know and should be assumed just 1 to 4 percent to be conservative. I am entering the hint values and random assumptions. You can enter based on your own research for actual valuation. Next, the discount rate. It is the rate which we want to earn in return from our investment in the company. So I want minimum 12 percent return. It can be different from individual to individual and you can enter accordingly. 
a higher risk example volatile industry would require a higher discount rate now comes the margin of safety it is for errors we might have done in our assumptions so one should keep it minimum 10% and if you think it's highly volatile you can keep to 15 to 20% also now click on calculate fair value button you will get the results in seconds here you can see the projected future cash flow table for the next 10 years and their present value as per the discount rate at the end when one adds all the present value and then adjust it for net debt figure and number of shares you can get dcf value of the company that is per share value or the intrinsic value of the stock also you can get the adjusted value after margin of safety it is known as fair value of the stock as we can see it's around 3000 rupees and the current price of the company that is tcs is around 4000 rupees we can infer that it's overvalued as of now so that was all about dcf one can quickly calculate the fair value of companies using dcf calculator in ticker you get discounted cash flow calculator free cash flow values hint of past growth rates and much more you can try now for any other company and comment below the name of undervalued stocks and the assumptions used dcf method is suitable for valuing companies which are generating high free cash flows and have low debt with finology 1 membership you get inbuilt dcf calculator for all stocks except bfsi sector and ticker do remember dcf is a powerful tool but it relies on estimations and assumptions accurately predicting the future cash flows is difficult also the chosen discount rate can significantly impact the future value while dcf can provide valuable insights it's crucial to conduct thorough research and consider other valuation options before making any investment decision ticker has two other valuation calculators which can help you find fair value of any stock which we will discuss in our upcoming videos till then make use of this market correction and add undervalued stocks in your portfolio using dcf calculator do like share and subscribe to finology ticker for more such videos and comment your doubts below also don't forget to press the bell icon for quick updates thank you